Well, let's get more on this now with Latin America analyst Colin Harding, who joins us from Manchester in the UK. Good to have you back with us, Colin. Uh, President Lula da Silva says he wants to punish those responsible for Sunday's uh, rioting as a matter of priority, including those who orchestrated and financed uh, the violence. In your view, does it uh, appear to be orchestrated and who might be uh, responsible for funding and organising uh, the events that we saw on Sunday? Day, and what are they trying to achieve? Well, certainly it was organised. Um, there, there were buses laid on, there were um, um, food and drink provided and adverts placed, you know, encouraging people to arrive in the capital from all over the place. And, and so yeah, there was certainly a great deal of organisation behind it. Uh, the investigation that the, the government has promised will try to determine who, who these interests are, but it's clear who, who um, Bolsonaro supporters are. Um, in the agribusiness, which is done extremely well under him, and the expanding Amazonian frontier, and in the agricultural heartland in South Central Brazil, that's the heartlands of um, of, of Bolsonaro support. Um, Bolsonaro himself has been very careful to distance himself from these actions, but uh, clearly his his past record has encouraged people to believe that um, that the, the the system is is. Uh, um, at fault, that, that the electoral system is open to fraud, that the Supreme Court is against him politically. Uh, and so we, we clearly do have a, a combination of circumstances which has led to this uh, present situation. Uh, Sunday's rioting in Brasilia was eerily reminiscent of the capital riot insurrection that we saw in the US in 2021. Uh, many say that was fueled by Donald Trump's belief uh, that uh, the election was fraudulent the election that he lost. We're seeing Jair Bolsonaro still refuse to accept the result of October's election. Do you believe that the two are very quite similar events? And has Jair Bolsonaro essentially taken a leaf out of Donald Trump books in this case? Well, it, it, his supporters certainly have. And of course, we have had Steve Bannon, one of uh, Donald Trump's cheerleaders uh, egging the, the, the demonstrators in Brazil on with, with tweet, uh, tweet, uh, Twitter posts. So uh, you know, the links are quite clear. And obviously the, the, the similarities between uh, the, the, the two invasions of, of uh, federal institutions are, are, are very clear. Um, uh, Bolsonaro, as I say, has been uh, careful to um, distance himself and, and stay away from these events. But uh, his movement, if you want to call it that, has, has acquired a life of its own, really. And this conviction that the election was rigged and that uh, Lula is a, a communist who's going to take Brazil in the direction of Venezuela, which is a, an authoritarian left-wing government with a basket case economy. Um, that This is uh, fueling their, their refusal to, um, to accept the election results and to call upon the army to save Brazil, as they call it. In the U.S. example, we know that a, a powerful U.S. House committee was looking into the causes of the January 6 Capitol riot, and the conclusion was that the former U.S. President Donald Trump does have a case to answer here. They've advised the Justice Department to prosecute him. Do you believe that in Brazil's case uh, that Jair Bolsonaro has a case to answer or, or at the very least should be investigated for a potential role in inciting the riots? Well, that's what the, 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 the protesters who've been on the streets of Brazil's main cities in the last couple of days are calling for, that uh, Bolsonaro ought to be extradited from the United States and ought to be put on trial for uh, inciting his supporters, if you like, to do to, to, to these actions. Um, we have to see if, that, if that's what happens. The, the Supreme Court has, has been a, a bastion of upholding um, legality in Brazil, and this is one of the things that uh, uh, Bolsonaro objected to. He said that they were politically opposed to him, that the Supreme Court justices, and he, he wanted changes there, which uh, haven't happened. Um, but we will have to see to, to what extent that the the Lula government pursues uh, any kind of legal action against Bolsonaro. And if he stays in the United States, um, I think it's going to be a very long process to get him back to Brazil if, if, if that ever happens. OK, Colin Harding, we will have to leave it there. But really good to get your analysis on the story. Thank you for joining us.